So now for wireless, since we have the AP registered, we're going to complete our configuration on wireless LAN controller. First, we go under security and we need to add the ACS as a radius servers for the controller. So radius authentication, new. The server IP is 172.16.32.100. And we specify the radius key or share secret on the ACS as Cisco. Actually, we're not going to use that for management, just for the network user. So we can safely uncheck management checkbox, apply. And we're also going to add our ACS as a accounting server. .100. Again, Cisco and Cisco, apply. Now what we're going to do is to create a, a brand new SSID for our map authentication. So under the view LAN, go create new. We'll call it lm-map for the profile name and the same name for the SSID. Click apply and we're going to map that to a VLAN 64 interface since we're going to drop user into VLAN 64. And then under security, layer 2, we're going to turn that off because we want to keep this SSID open, so this doesn't require authentication from the network device side. But we, instead, we can enable MAC filtering. And then for AAA server, we want to point that to our ACS, which is 32.100. And under advanced, we want to allow AAA override, which is the radius attribute from the ACS. And next state can turn on radius NAC as well. We'll click apply. Oh, and also we need to make sure the status is enabled, obviously, for our test machine to be able to see the SSID. Okay, so now let's go to our test Windows 7 machine, and let's locate our wireless adapter here. And you can see the machine already see LM map, so we'll double click on that. And let's make sure it has received the correct IP. So look at status, detail. You can see it has successfully obtained IP from the VLAN 64, so on 72.16.64. And at this point, if you're trying to ping 422, which is internet, you can see that is pingable. And if you bring up a browser and then go into cisco.com, right here, which is our default page on the browser, you can see we can access internet also. Okay, so that means we have successfully authenticated. You can see without having the user having to type in any credentials. Again, we're just using Windows 7 machine as our test device here, but it could be pretty much anything. It could be wireless phone or any other wireless device. And now if we go out to the controller and then monitor and client, and this is our Windows 7 machine MAC address. You can see this is currently associated with LM-MAP under VLAN 64. And if you take a quick note at the I'm trying to look for the ACL, it looks like it's not showing up. So it could be that when we configured the profile, we did not properly add it. Authorization profile. So let's go back and take a look at authorization profile. And under the VLAN permit all, radius attribute, you see right here, when we chose that or configured that, we forgot to add it, which is happens to me all the time. I just have to make sure that it's properly added. So again, airspace, just to repeat that real quick, select. ACL name, static, and we'll call it LM permit all, I believe. And right here, make sure you hit that app button, otherwise it won't get saved. Okay, let's try and submit again and do a disconnect and connect. And then go back to the, maybe you have to even delete the climate, let's see. Yep, you might need to remove because the controller still remembers the MAC address, so you need to clear that. We'll disconnect just to force authentication. Actually, let's remove that again. Go and reconnect. And now you can see right here with the ACL name, LM permit all, that the ACS tells the controller to basically make a reference to. Okay, now if we go back to the ACS authentication log. Reload. You can see here, the success, a successful authentication for our wireless device. You can see one noticeable difference is there's only one lock entry for this type of authentication because the for the wire, the second lock entry is for the downloadable ACL being pushed down to the switch. But here, since we're using name ACL, it's already part of, actually that one's the one that we did not configure the name ACL. So I have to look at the latest one. Again, expand that, you can see the difference is now we have the additional 
radius attribute for the airspace ACL, the Allen permit all. Everything else looks pretty much the same on the wireless authentication compared to wired. The only difference is right here is the port type is 802.11 instead of what would have been Ethernet on the wired. But the rest of it is pretty much the same. Okay, so the last thing we're going to test is to remove our MAC address just to make sure that this is why we had a successful authentication or connection. So for the Windows 7, we're going to do, I'm going to delete that. Okay, so now that's gone on the controller. Actually, let's disconnect our wireless first. So disconnect and let's clean up the client on the controller. And now if we hop onto Windows 7 machine and try to reconnect, you can see it's, uh, it's having a little trouble now trying to connect. Okay, and if we go back to our ACS and look at the lock one more time, for some reason we don't even see it coming in, so let's, maybe we'll try it one more time. There you go. So looks like there was, there was a little lag as far as the locking, but you can see failure reason right here for our last two attempt was subject not found in the identity stores because we just deleted the device MAC address, which has basically proved how that's been working. So as you can see that the map is nothing but like a whitelist of MAC addresses, then as long as the device MAC address is added to that list, it would be granted network access. But keep in mind that the MAC address can always be spoofed so that very least you need to make sure the devices are granularly enough access as required to provide whatever service. So malicious user cannot just gain access to the whole network by, for example, pretending to be like a network printer. And again, MAC address can easily be sniffed out when the traffic is unencrypted on the wire. So just keep that in mind. So that wraps up our video on ACS 5.4 Wire and Wireless MAC Authentication Bypass or MAP. You can visit our website to view an extensive list of our lab videos and sign up to get access to additional lab contents. Thank you for watching labness.com and I'll see you guys in the next video.